You're right, everyone. Um, I just had a thought, you know. <clears throat> I've been sharing a couple of videos lately when I've been doing different jobs, regilding or whatever. It's not very often I actually make videos of us doing the jobs, hence why there's only a couple on uh, YouTube. What I thought I would do, because I've got I've got um, a portfolio, an album. I thought that I would make this video, but I would put the before and after pictures in with uh, this. So you could see, I'm not, probably quite a few different jobs. Um, ranging from regilding in Gold Leap or Black to installing wrought iron surrounds or um, from a, a mound of mud basically to a nice looking grave with wrought iron surround and artificial grass or coloured stones, you know, I just thought I would let you see, because there's all different aspects of what I do, and as I say, it's it's not often that I'll uh, make a video, but I keep getting emails off different people um, with regards to cleaning a stone, or best way to keep a stone clean, or how will I regild it? Um, other things such as, can I put a surround on a grave? The simple answer is no. You can't just put it there. Regardless of whether you're the title deed holder or not, you still need to apply to your local authorities for permission. So... A friend of mine, actually yesterday, sent me a message. He's ex. They are still quite friendly. Um, but she had asked him to get in touch with him and ask, could they put, or could they get me, to put some blackstone curbs in around the grave? And I had said to Gary, I went, yes, I can do it for you. I went, but you must have permission from the authority I went, if not I says yes I can go ahead I can install them for you um, but the groundsmen are legally entitled to just rip that up because you haven't got permission I went so please apply for permission if they grant you the permission come back to us I'll sort you out so anybody that's just thinking you know um I can put a cross on a grave or a grave marker or a memorial plaque or flower pots. Realistically, you're not allowed without permission. Yes, people do it and they get away with it. I'm not, I'm not saying different to that. I'm just saying to keep it right, you need to apply for permission and have it back in writing off them. Also the fact, no one can authorise any work to be done on a grave, whether it be the grave, the surround, the headstone, nothing, unless they are the actual named deed holder for the title deeds for that grave, you know. Um, another thing, a lot of people tend to think... Uh, I'll give you a scenario. My mother was the deed holder for me nan and granddad's grave. That was her parents. When my mother died away, when she died away, sorry, when my mother died, passed away, I was going to say, when my mother died, I had to get in touch with the local authority to change the deeds into my name. It's free. It doesn't cost you now. Um, the Duke or renewal next year anyway, so there's another 800 quid. But to change the name, it doesn't cost you. You've just got to provide proof of who you are and what relation you are to the deed holder or previous deed holder. 
So when someone is a deed holder, if they pass away, their remaining relatives or next of kin are not automatically the deed holder. They do need to contact the authorities, they send the original deeds back in along with their ID and then they will be sent new title deeds with their name on and also whatever ID they sent in, they'll get that sent back in. I just thought I'll clear that up because there's quite a lot of people who have said, well, we've paid X amount to buy this grave. We can do what we want. Simple fact is, un un unfortunately, no, you can't. Um, there's quite a lot of things. I'll tell you one thing, what it, it confuses us. Um... It flabbergasts, if I'm being honest. Certain cemeteries or certain sections of cemeteries, you'll see full length graves, wooden surrounds, homemade stone ones, proper curbs, raw iron, whatever, you know. But then you'll go on to a different part of the cemetery and you'll see small ones, maybe I think it's three foot. By three foot long by the width of the headstone. And a lot of people tend to think that those graves are for cremation only. They're not. This, this is what Flabbergast says. You pay for your grave, the plot of land, you know, and it lasts you 50 years or however long you've purchased it for. But... When you want to put a surround in, you apply to the authority for permission and they are granted. But then they tell you, well, it can't be any wider than the headstone and no longer than three foot. What confounds us is the don't dig a hole three foot long to place a coffin in. Yeah? So, when you are purchasing your grave, or the land, whichever, you're paying for a full-size grave. You know? You're not paying for three foot, because the dim digger hole three foot land, and bury a coffin upright, do they? You know, it's like normally about seven foot land, the coffin's lowered in, Covered. So, yeah, that, that confounds us as to how the council will say, yes, you've purchased the deeds, 700 quid, 800 quid, 1,000 pound, whatever it costs you for that certain cemetery. But you can't put a full-sized surround on. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? That was just something else. Um, if anybody who's watching this video, if after you've watched the video, if you've got any questions, queries that maybe I can help you with or possibly some advice, you can get me email address out of the about page. Send an email, I'll reply to you. You know, it's not a problem. Um, well, I'll just add these photographs before, after us. I might even put a couple of durin in, just for you to get an idea of what I actually do. You now, it's not just all regal. So, here's the pictures.
Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, took us flipping ages to make it. There's that many um, photographs. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you, you can see the different things that are day. As I said previously, if anybody sees anything in the videos that they might fancy doing um, for themselves, whether it be for family members grave or whatever you know please feel free to contact us um if i can be of any help you i will obviously there's going to be certain things that i kind of tell you you know but 99 percent of things i'll be able to answer you um basically i think the only one I cannot answer you would be on something that I use which I make myself uh, but that would be about it it was a bit quiet um, because obviously I wasn't talking you know what I mean so hopefully by the time you get to this part of the video I'll have added some music in and it'll have worked probably if it doesn't well I cannot tell that um, but like I say I hope you have enjoyed the video um, if you have it just means next time I'm doing jobs I'll try and video them if it's possible and upload them uh, so pardon me hiccups so thank you very much to anyone who took the time 
out of their lives to watch this video. Cheers, everyone.